I can't, I'm not, I might be poor as fuck, but I'll go down on you. I, I really like that line. You wait on the day that I say I love you too, but I just can't say that. It's a really, really cool line. I'm so good at sex. Hello and welcome to Rabbits React. I'm Adam and I'm joining you on a Wednesday for something a little bit different today. Um, usually, for people who don't know, uh, every year what happens is the BBC, for people who don't know, it's the British Broadcasting Corporation, uh, create a list of some of the uh, underground artists and, and singers, songwriters, rappers, whatever, musicians, who they think are gonna make it big in the year coming. Um, and as per usual, in this, the year of 2022, BBC have done it again. So uh, it usually is called the BBC sound of whatever year it is. So I had this, this little brainwave, this little idea. I wanted to listen to all of these artists um, that are on this list, or at least the artists that hit the top five spots. Uh, of the BBC sound of 2022 because I love new music. This is mostly what this channel is about, is me listening to new music, giving you my reaction and my vague opinions about the, the sort of the new stuff that I'm listening to. So I thought, hey, why not do that? Why not do that for, for this? So the next uh, few weeks, I think it's, I'm going to do it like a weekly thing. Uh, the next few weeks I'm going to listen to and react to uh, songs from the top five artists um, from the BBC Sound of 2022. Um, the top five artists of that anyway. Yeah, so, I don't know. Hopefully that's going to be, be good and fun and interesting for me and for you. The first artist that I'm going to, uh, to get to on the BBC Sound of 2022 um, top five. It comes in as number uh, number five. This is a guy called Central C. Uh, it's a British rapper and songwriter from Shepherd's Bush in London. Um, now, he does. I like rap. I like rap music. I listen to a, a fair amount of rap music. A lot of the rap music I tend to listen to is American. Uh, however, that doesn't divorce me entirely from from uh, British rap music. I, I enjoyed Stormzy's Gang Signs and Prayer. I enjoyed Kano stuff. I was back when Dizzy and Lethal Bizzle were being, you know, were, were, were up and coming at that point. Um, and I, I enjoyed a lot of their stuff. Uh, I am not. <laughs> there are two caveats I need to put to this, this little reaction here. One, I didn't grow up in London. I have no knowledge of London whatsoever. Or Shepherd's Bush for that matter. Um, it might be... You might think that the UK, because it's such a small place, you might think that doesn't matter. No, we live at, basically, I'm, I live at the opposite end of the country to, to London. It's like a another planet. It's like another, it's maybe not the planet, it's like another country in terms of culture, in terms of mannerisms, in terms of like, how they speak even. Um, and also 10 years older than this guy. <laughs> so... Uh, he's 23, I'm, I'm 33. So, there may be a lot of stuff that I'm just gonna miss. Like, lyrics-wise, I'm probably just gonna miss, like, so much of it. So, I don't think you can... It's gonna be difficult for me to be, like, pinpointing lyrics. It's rap and I should be listening to lyrics. It's gonna be difficult for me to pinpoint lyrics. I'm going to say that. I'm going to try and get the lyrics up on Genius beforehand uh, and try and get that sorted. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, anyway, uh, so the, the first video that I'm going to be watching is by, as I said, by Central C. And I'm trying to see the video. Um, there we go. And it's uh, what, what I thought what I thought I would do um, during these is try and get a, a live version of the songs from... The BBC's own YouTube channel. Um, so this is a live recording of two songs from Central Sea uh, on BBC Radio One Extra, which is typically um, the sort of more I'd say, it's an urban um, centric BBC radio channel. Um, these songs are called "Loading" and "Commitment Issues," featuring the composers. Um, 
I'm going to be very interested in, in seeing how both of these go. I have no idea. Uh, without further ado, let's go. This is sort of like a, I guess, a reggae ish beat. It's a little bit. This drums are cool. I need to slow down already. Uh, a little, it's a little bro got the poker tucked. What's a poker? People, have, oh, so poker's a, a knife. Okay, so you, you you poke the people. This is what I mean already. I'm gonna be lost because the slang that he uses and the slang that I use are gonna be entirely different. Um, you know, due to one us living at the other side of the country and two. Us being ten years apart in in, in age. Back then it was hand to hand. Nowadays I don't have no involvement. In a trap I stay on my own. I'm home alone. My code spoken. Why Jay no commented it? It's complicated. Could the case still open? The boys in blue trying to find them clues in the station. Problem solving. Boys in the blue trying to find them clues. Nice. I don't know who YJ is. I assume that's a person that people know of. Um, no clue. I actually quite like this. This is pretty cool. I, uh, I'm trying to think about what I'm saying about the music here. The drums. This dude. Fantastic. I'm really loving the, the drumming in this. Uh, the little sort of like poppy. Um, <laughs> I guess poppy is the only thing I can call it. A little like poppy melody in the background is, is weird. It's fine. Like, I don't think it's bad by any means, but... I mean, it goes with the song. It goes with the song is what I could say with that. And I'm not too keen on the on the, the little poppy, the trumpety bit. Um, really love the drums. Really love, like, his his cadence and his, um, like, swagger and his enthusiasm for it. I think that's really cool. I think he has, like, a, a really interesting presence. Um, I mean, like, looking at the lyrics here, most of it's just sort of, like... I mean, kind of nothing, right? He's just like kind of saying, I'm, about, I'm out and about. I'm out and about. I jumped out the ride with a mask on because COVID exists. And then free all the guys and rest in peace to all the fallen. I don't know what he's trying to say with that. And then he's just chatting. Like, is it just that he's chatting shit? <laughs> oh, no. I'm looking at the lyrics. I'm just like... I mean, this line makes sense. I think out loud what comes out of my mouth can't control it. He's just like... Uh, it especially shows that he's unconcerned what other people think of him, but... Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> whatever, man. I find it hard to keep up with the lyrics. But uh, I don't live in that life. I don't live in that... that You know, I don't live his life. I'm not gonna... Find it so easy to relate to. Um, I do like... I'm, I'm home alone with Colin Culkin. Pretty fun. Boys in blue trying to catch them... Uh, trying to find them clues. Hilarious, um, but a lot of it is is very very far removed from me, very far removed from me. And before you you um, and before I, I want to clarify, it's not so far away from me because I'm posh, like I don't live in that. It's far away from me because I'm northern, <laughs> and like I live in a a, a town, like that's that's it. Is not because I'm like fucking Kirsty Olsoff and I'm going out here like, oh, you can buy your house at 21. No, I, it's because I just haven't lived the same life as this dude. Uh, let's go. He doesn't do fraud, that's good. Don't do fraud. He wants, he wants a wife as well. I don't know who Liam Myers. Man, this trouble is sick. This is still the end of this, right? Or is this transferring? Is this like progressing to the next track? Oh my god, look at him go! Oh! Yes, man!
What a what a what a what a crazy drum break at the end. Crazy drum break at the end. Uh, next track's called Commitment Issues. Um, I, I really like that track. I did really like the track. I think the track was fucking good. Uh, I'm not entirely able to relate to the stuff that he's talking about because, as I was saying before, it's not my life. It's not something that I've ever been through. I'm not in a gang. I'm not in London. I'm 10 years older than the man. Like, I'm sure I could say some shit if I was a rapper about my life, but that he wouldn't understand, you know? Um, we're all just different people from different uh, zones. But because I can't relate to that stuff doesn't mean I don't think that stuff's good. Doesn't mean I don't think that stuff's interesting. Doesn't mean I don't get it as well. Um, I feel like I'm being really defensive. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just, I can envision the comments. Ah, you don't get it. You posh. You fucking haven't lived this. Whatever, you know, like. It's not that. It's a different world, isn't it? Yeah, next one is Commitment Issues. Uh, love that drummer. That drummer's sick. Really, really good drummer. Um, and like I said, I like it. I'm enjoying the presence. I'm enjoying the, the ability. He's clearly a very talented guy. Um, let's see how uh, Commitment Issues is. Let's see how Commitment Issues is. Let's go. He's at a train station there. Also, you remember if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. So uh, this little, I think it's sort of like a synthesized guitar thing already. Just in the like the first few minutes of the song, I'm thinking Metallica's like one or something or nothing else. I'm thinking I'm thinking nothing else matters. And if it's nothing else matters, it's sort of being sampled here. It's gonna be very weird. Either way, let's go. Oh, he's just playing it, man. He's just playing it. Cool, cool play. <laughs> Can I just say as well? I know that he's like, I don't know, like, whatever. I know it's like it's rap. You're supposed to give off this presence to being hard or whatever. I just find this image really fucking funny because <laughs> he's all like, he's all like down and serious. He's like head down, proper serious, hold up. I'm, I'm well off, mate. I'm gonna, and then there's just this fucking train behind him, and I'm like, Jesus. Man. <laughs> it's just like at a train station and there's a train that I just find it really funny for some reason no offence though no offence no offence intended mate uh, just a fun image in general here we go I got commitment issues but uh -huh. I'm trying to fix that for you okay if I can't afford that bag that you want then I'll make that for you is that a is that a fucking hold on mate hold on mate is that what he said? In this line, C is describing his love for, and ironically commitment for this girl. Pretty fun. Uh, he's saying, if you can't afford the bag uh, that his girl wants, he will lick that for her. Lick is... Oh! Okay. A lick is a common slang term for robbery or to rob someone. So C is saying it will steal that bag for her. <laughs> okay. That's more... Uh, that makes more sense. I was like a bit taken out if i can't afford that bag for you then i would lick that for you to me is like and this might just be my mind uh it is is saying i can't i might i might be poor as fuck but i'll go down on you <laughs> that's clearly clearly not what he's saying but that's fuck it let's go uh <laughs> Okay. The story, the story of the song. I, I think I'm a bit more able to get this. Uh, it seems like what's happened, uh, according to the chorus, is that C has slept with some some girls, like multiple, um, and deleted uh, some text to try and cover up, like try and be a, like, a bit like. Oh, you, you shouldn't find out about you can't you can't find out about this because I actually do like this person. Um, probably because of his commitment issues, right? Probably because he's he's like, as let's let's say it. Probably because he's scared, isn't it? Like that's what commitment issues are about. Commitment issues are about you being a bit scared of love and a bit scared of being vulnerable and a bit scared of being hurt. So you're in love with someone, and you've got commitment issues, and you're a bit like fucking about and playing about. Isn't always just because you're a dickhead. Sometimes it is, 
but sometimes it's just because you you're genuinely not ready for that kind of commitment and genuinely not ready for that kind of like emotional connection and it, I, I yeah, fair, fair play mate, fair play mate. Mm. You know what, man? You know what? That's cool. I, I really like that line. You wait on the day that I say I love you too, but I just can't say that. It's a really, really cool line. Um, really cool line. I'm, and I, yeah, I, I enjoy that. Really nice line. Really nice line, man. <laughs> I'm gonna pause again for the for music side of things to take it down a little bit and and to try and uh, you know not get the not be as serious. But it's the bang. I think he's hitting like some sort of steel drum cymbal thing um, when he does that. It just sounds very video gamey to me. It sounds like he's it's like a I don't know like a, a, it's a Street Fighter noise to me. Oh whatever. I I'm probably gonna delete this. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm gonna uh, stop it before there because there's some slang that I don't get, uh, and it's and it's allowing me to check out what that means. Uh, but verse two, I got commitment issues. I still do. I know that your ex still miss you. Uh, you can't get enough of love because I'm good at sex. Uh, <laughs> These lines make me laugh so much. It was the same with I did. I recorded a a, a review or a, a reaction to the Weekends album, and these lines of like, "I'm so good at sex," they just make me laugh um, because personally, I find the kind of people who who go, <laughs> "I'm so good at sex," they are usually not. Uh, but I don't know, I've not had sex with Central C, he might be amazing. But we, we just argue, this is the line that, that got me. Uh, she knows that I trap, so her Marge don't rate me. Is that a mum? Marge is slang for mother, which is weird. Um, why? Is that, a, is, that a Simpson, is that a Simpsons reference that's become real life, or is that, does that mean something else? If you do know, you'll have to let me know in Das comments. Um, das is German for the... Didn't know that, did you? Uh, fuck's sake. <laughs> to, uh, to rate something or someone... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I know what rating means. Is trap... Is it she knows that I trap because he does trap music? Or is that something else? I know what rating someone means. Thank you, genius. Uh, C mentions how her mother doesn't like him because he makes... Oh, because he makes, he makes money illegally. Does he make money illegally now, though? He's a rapper on BBC Radio 1 Extra. I reckon she'll be alright with him now, isn't it? I mean, like, his drumming his drumming is ridiculous, right? Yes! Oh, you can just hear the cymbals going mad. Whoever this dude on drums is, is, a, is an actual madman. He's an actual madman. I don't know if he's a session musician or if he's just like actually incredible. But dude, the drummer in both of these songs is ridiculous. Amazing. Right, 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 <laughs> right then. I was uh, the first of the BBC Sound of 2022 uh, top five. That was Central C. Uh, I listened to Loading and Commitment Issues. Uh, featuring the composers. I don't know whether the composers are the, the live band or not. Um, or whether they're in both of the... They probably are. Um, pretty good, man. Pretty good, you know. I wasn't expecting so much because I listened to the, the Day in the Life song and I thought it was like whatever. I thought it was all right. Um, not great, but all right. But like loading, loading took me a little bit to get into it. But And there was there's like a couple of walls for me. Um, in terms of like, 
understanding the way his his life has gone and the way he's grown up and the way like stuff like that, you know. Um, but I thought it was good. I thought it was good. But commitment commitment issues is something I can relate to on a more personal level because it's it's. I mean, one, it's the kind of rap that I like. It's it's personal. Uh, instead of like loading and day in the life, I didn't, uh, much I haven't even read the lyrics of day in the life, but they kind of just seem like tracks where he's like fucking about a bit and he's kind of like yeah I'm just having a laugh in it, which I don't really give a fuck about you know like unless they're done particularly well or they have a a a, a more interesting message like so Kendrick's fucking backseat freestyle which works incredibly well as a um as a as an addition to the whole album uh, of Good Kid Mad City to, to build on the story. Uh, loading to this, it, I mean, it's cool. It's a good track, but I, I don't think it's anything that I'd sit down and, and listen to and bop on, but like, yeah, this is, this is sick. Commitment Issues, however, is really good. And it, it sort of deals with, I imagine the sort of commitment issues that he feels in himself and, and the kind of issues that he feels he has. Um, and you know, obviously it talks a little bit about like um, the way his life is going and, and, and the way that he's had to do like illegal stuff to make money to to eat and or whatever, uh, or to make money to even like ask a girl out and like, buy shit for it. Um, but I really enjoyed just like that little journey through that, and and you know I really really appreciate it that at this age he's twenty three, which to be fair is not super, it's not super young, it's not super young for a rapper, uh, but at twenty three I really really appreciate. That he has the sort of um, mental, uh, he has the sort of maturity to be like, nah, screw it. I'm going to make a song about my com- my commitment issues and my issues, and 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 sort of turn it into uh, turn his music into a form of therapy, and turn his music into to uh, something that's real and something that's meaningful instead of just tossing about. Because there are so many artists, there are so many artists that at the age of twenty three are just like fuck it, I don't care, let's just fuck about. Um, not just, in, not, I'm not saying like just in rap either, in all types of music. Like, all types of music. And the fact that this guy has got the like, sensibility to just go, nah, fuck it. Let's make this. Let's make this like, how, what's it, what's his, how many singles he put out? I mean, to be fair, he's put a few, a few, a few singles out, but um, it looks like it's like his fourth, looks like he's his f- like fifth, fifth like actual single, and uh, that to me is just super impressive. That to me is just super impressive. That as his fifth single, he's gone. Let's get real with it. Let's get real with it. No fucking about. Let's just get real with it. You know what? Cool. I uh I understand why he's on that BBC Sound of Twenty Twenty Two list. Um, if this guy doesn't get if the guy doesn't get big in rap, I don't know what's going on. Guy's already had top five hits. Guy's already had a top five hit in the UK. Man's doing bits. Man's doing bits. Well done. Well done, Central C. Really enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you enjoyed it. If you did, down in the comments. Because I want to know. I want to know if you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, if you didn't, why not? Let me know as well. I want to see, I wanna see what's, what, what you think. What do you think about Central C and his stuff? Um, either way, I'll be back on Friday with New Music Friday. So a couple days. I don't know what that will be. We'll decide that on the day. Uh, and then I'll be back next Wednesday again for the next in the BBC Sound of 2022 list. I can't remember who it is. I'll have to look it up at some point. Um, either way, thank you very much for everyone who came by to watch. Um, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the support and the love that you guys have been giving me. Um, I really appreciate the comments and stuff as well. I love, love just seeing comments. Even if your comments are like, look at this dickhead. Fine with it. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.